A few days ago, me and my group interviewed a certain veteran. Most of us here know him as Mr. Scott, one of our school's special education teachers. Many, many of us may not know too much of his past or how it changed his life. As a teenager, Mr. Scott was a, and I quote, wild child who got in much trouble as a teen. He's very thankful for how serving for our country has changed him. Before enrolling in the military, Mr. Scott lived a normal life. He decided to move to Alaska. Sorry. He decided, uh, let's see here. He decided to move to Alaska with a couple of friends and wanted to be a fisherman. This did not work out. And that's when he decided to enroll in the American Navy. People may think that joining the military is dangerous and is, is far too big of a risk, which is in most cases. But knowing these risks, Mr. Scott went anyways, knowing the opportunities that awaited him. He was only 20 when he decided to enlist into the armed forces. He became a part of the Navy and later on the National Guard. He served and dedicated 12 years to his family, our country, and never said there would be a while out there. While, while, on, while, uh, excuse me, while on base, Mr. Scott made many friends and loved all of them as brothers. His favorite part was traveling across the globe where he learned many different things about different people and their cultures. His favorite place he went was Katia, Thailand. He loved this place so much due to its amazing culture and how everything could be so hectic, but still so under control. Mr. Scott also told us about the humorous parts of when he served. While serviced in Hawaii, while he was still known as a newbie, he found that he found out that other guys were trying to pull a prank on him. So he just decided to go to the beach and serve. He also enjoyed being able to call his parents sometimes, even though there was no texting and email at the time. We asked Mr. Scott what was his advice to anyone who was interested in the military. He almost immediately responded to just go. The military has changed his life in the best possible way for him, and he says he loved serving for his country. Mr. Scott and the rest of our veterans, thank you for all your service.